there was this really strong, particularly strong connection with Burn, Absolution, Connecticut, the Anthrax. Then there's guys like Cycle and Gaze and Emit and all of these Connecticut guys who are either into hardcore or loosely into hardcore. And then those guys kind of knew guys like Rise in Boston, you know, two hours further up. Um, and then those guys all knew each other, guys from Philly and DC loosely because now the zines started to have like a graffiti influence. And then there was already a scene of like graffiti zines and now like the hardcore zines and the graffiti zines were kind of linking up. When uh, me and Chaka did the new recompilation tape, the first place we took it to was the Anthrax Club. We took the, uh, the Metro North, we're busy putting the tape together last minute. And we took it there because a lot of uh, New York bands were playing at the Anthrax. They got a huge welcome. They let Neighborhood Kids just tag up the whole place. So Anthrax was a huge um, common ground for all these influences to get together. You know, I, was, I, I lived in New York. I lived in Westchester, so I used to go to shows in Connecticut, though, because my, my dad worked in New York, and he hated New York City. And so, you know, I'm 15. Hey, Dad, can I go to New York City to see Black Flag? Are you kidding me? You can't go to New York City, Black Flag. Somehow or other, he would let me go to Stamford, which is probably like the worst neighborhood than Lower East Side at the time, and I used to go shows at the old Anthrax. We love playing the Anthrax. I think that that really helped us to go even further north and then go and play, you know, in Boston, right? And, have those, you know, that Boston environment, which was, I'm not saying Connecticut was a young scene because Connecticut, Jordan from Revelation Records was based in Connecticut, so they had something happening. But then you go and you play Boston, which obviously has maybe a more storied scene. With CBGBs, your heart starts pumping. You know, it's, you don't know what you're gonna get. You're walking down Bowery or Bleecker and you're going to the fucking show and you're thinking about it all day, you're thinking about the night before, it's heavy. Same with the old Ritz, Pyramid too. The Anthrax, I felt like it was a little bit more of our own kind of club. And, you know, I could sort of breathe and chill. All those kids, I feel like the whole high school in that fucking town was straight edge. Wide awake, up front, all that shit. They might not have been, but that was my take on it. Just like the stage was like the perfect fucking stage dive stage, you know? And just the layout of the whole thing was like, and it always felt crowded, or maybe I was just little and it just felt packed or something, but it was just very conducive for a great show. The guys that ran it seemed fine. The sound man was super cool. Uh, and the bills were always solid, and it was, it was a good time. And they had Jolt for sale. Big straight edge drink, Jolt.